Jessica Biel started her career as a vocalist and appeared in several music productions at a very young age. It was at the age of 14 she was cast in WB's longest-running family drama series, Seventh Heaven. A year later, she was cast alongside veteran actor Peter Fonda in Yuli's Gold, a film which received widespread acclaim. She rose to prominence in the early 2000s and appeared in various commercially successful films and gained positive reviews for her acting performances. Let's look at top 10 Jessica Biel movies. Number 10. Lennon Released in 2005 Upon learning that his ex-lover is leaving New York, a man named Syed Kratos are going and a party but once there, he creates the bathroom with a stash of cocaine and engages in a drug-filled conversation with a man. I want to know if we can go somewhere and talk for a second, please. Jason Statham. Fortunately, time's not on your side. What are you going to do? Wait outside like a stalker. Jessica Biel. This is my going away party. I think it would be pretty uncool if I left just because you wanted to talk. Joy Bryant. It's our last night here. Just focus on something positive. Isla Fisher. I think he wasn't involved. London. Number 9. Total Recall. 2012. In need of a vacation from his ordinary life, factory worker Douglas visits Recall, a company that can turn dreams into real memories. Get in. I've been looking for you everywhere. Number 8. Blade, Trinity. Released in 2004, the war between humans and vampires continues. But the human's best hope human vampire hybrid warrior Blade has been framed for countless murders, turning popular sentiment against him. The vampire leader responsible for Blade's bad publicity is Danny Catalos, who's determined to finally lead her bloodthirsty competitors to a victory. Whistler's daughter. What the hell makes you think you know about? I used to be one. Blade Trinity. Number seven. Powder Blue, released in 2009. Four Los Angeles, a mortician and ex-con, a suicidal ex-priest and a stripper are brought together on Christmas Eve by a mixture of circumstances. Number 6. Home of the Brave, 2006 Following a lengthy tour of duty in Iraq, three soldiers find that readjusting to life at home is not as easy as they originally thought. Number 5. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre In this remake of the horror classic, a group of young people, travelers including Erin and Morgan, comes across an isolated rural home while driving through Texas.
Number four, Valentine's Day, 2010. In a series of interconnected stories, various Los Angeles residents went their way through the highs and lows of love during a single day. Yes, we have another bottle of wine. wine. Valentine's Day is about anger, disappointment, love, romance, mating, discretion, sparkly, commitment. I love it. I love hype. Yes. That's nice. You're the most special Valentine I have ever had. But just don't tell the other kids we had a date in the bar. It's just a little inappropriate. Number three. I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. 2007. Chuck and Larry Valentine are firefighters and true blue buddies. When Larry, a widower, learns he cannot name his children as beneficiaries on his life insurance policy, he needs a big favor from Chuck. Cordially invite you to a comedy. Thanks to you, I can't get close to her. I can't even have freaking fun with her. Why can't you have fun with me? You're smothering me, man. I can't freaking breathe. Because you're afraid of feeling trapped. That's what happens when you get married. Fat ass, we're not really married. About true romance. That's not a pillowcase. It's my underwear, you idiot. In the faking. Oh. Adam Sandler. I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. You are a Number two. The A-Team. Released in 2010. A man who loves when a plan comes together, Hannibal Smith leads a close-knit team of airlight operatives. Framed for a terrible crime, Smith and his men go rogue, using their special talents to clear the names and find the preparator. Number 1. The Illusionist Late in 2006, in 90s Vienna, mesmeric entertainer Ismini's magical abilities are worrying the crowds. With an act that ranges from tricks to an apparent capacity to raise the dead. Promise me you won't do it again. I promise you you'll enjoy this next show. Stop! It's an illusion. Perhaps there's truth in this illusion.